All right, guys, we have a little bit of a special treat for you today. This is uh, Mr. Four Sevens himself, David, uh, and he's going to show us something I talked about a little bit earlier, the XM18, that 18,000 lumen beast. So uh, that's it right there. You want to go ahead and tell us a little bit about this light, David? Sure, sure. Well, um, what's unique about it, first of all, is that it's got XMLs. It's been on the market uh, about two months, and uh, we've already got a light like this on uh, we actually worked on it longer than two months. It's been uh, first half of last year. We worked very close with Cree and had special access to their prototype LEDs. And um, actually, we shared this concept with them as well. And they were they were just like a bunch of uh, kids in a candy store, you know, when I showed them the drawings. But um, anyway, there's there's 18 XMLs, and the, what's unique about the XMLs is. It's broken some single die records. I believe it's like 160 lumens per watt at uh, 1,000 lumens at 3 amps, which is absolutely unprecedented for a single die. So we decided to make the most out of the this leading edge LED, put in a package that is um, the package is actually very unique as well. It's octagonal, modular. You can piece these things together to make a light uh, as, as bright as you need. So when you're saying piece them together, how do you go about doing that? Well, um, <coughs> excuse me. The six handles all have mounting holes on the side, and um, if I had another one here handy, we I can show you how they they, they can just piece together. It's all right. It's a prototype. We understand. <laughs> so. Uh, and then we have little shims that can add angle to it. So you can actually build a, almost a parabola of XM18s. Or you could just use this by itself. These just make great handles. So what's the, uh, what's the intended purpose of this thing? Just producing a whole lot of light? Is there, is there a specific market you're going after with this? Well, the first thing is to show uh, our technical capability, um, our ability to put bring ideas that were conceived on the drawing board to something that is working and uh, fully fully designed. We, I mean, we designed the thermal uh, mechanics and everything. Uh, anyway, bring it from the drawing board to an actual product um, to show what we were capable of. So, so how does this operate? How do you how do you turn this thing on? What kind of modes can we expect out of this thing? Well, uh, as you know, it's a prototype, but we can tailor this thing for any kind of purpose. But this prototype has um, four modes, low, medium, high, and also a strobe. Uh, let me turn it around. A strobe with 18,000 lumens, that's got to be pretty brutal. It's painful. <laughs> so there's a, there's a kill switch that you have to throw first. A little beep to warn you that uh, it's armed. And um, there's the button, there's the trigger. Um, I'm, not, I'm going to not point it at the booth because that makes people mad. And uh, put it here. That's, that's on low. <laughs> Medium. High, there we go. Wow, that's, that's a lot of light. Yeah, okay. the, uh, the camera can barely keep up with adjusting right. the exposure. It probably just turned white, right? <laughs> yep, pretty much. Um, also what's unique is that it's, uh, it's got active thermal management, active and uh, actual it's got a fan that'll pull heat away according to the need. If the temperature reaches a certain point, it'll, ki it'll kick on. So is it meant to run indefinitely, or is there a certain a certain run time before it's meant to kick down the output? Um, it will kick down the output if the temperature doesn't drop fast enough, but uh, I've, I've run a couple of these over an hour. They maintain a temperature equilibrium and it, it did just fine. You were able to run them on high for an hour? Oh yeah. That's uh, that's pretty impressive. We just turned off all the lights in the hotel and just uh, in our hotel room and then uh, turned them on. Alright well I am uh, I'm very very impressed. <laughs> Do you have anything else to tell us about this light? Um, the, people have asked what, what is this light uh, targeted for? It's it, it, Number one like I said before it's, it's really proof of concept, proof of uh, ability of what we can do. But if uh, the military orders thousand of them, we'll, we'll build it for them. So is this is this meant to be a proof of concept only? Is that the intent, or are you, are you planning on producing these regardless? Well, uh, it's proof of concept. I mean, it, there has to be enough demand for us to put in production. Sure. Um, I mean, 
a lot of people see this and they say, "Hey, I want one." But if we uh, if we figure out a price, they probably run as fast as they can. <laughs> it's not cheap to. I uh, I know I want one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're on the list. Number All one. right, well, I appreciate it. Well, David, we appreciate it. Uh, thanks for giving us the time today. Thank you.